Welcome to FedScoop TV and our special series on public sector innovation. I'm Wyatt Cash, your host, and today we're with Lauren Thompson. Lauren is director of DOD and VA's interagency program office, and she's with the Department of Defense. Welcome mm -hmm. to the program. Thank you. Thank Terrific. you. Terrific. I wanted to start off initially by just uh, getting your sense for innovation. A lot of people talk uh -huh. about it. Uh -huh. It's a word that gets bantered about. Right. What do you really think of when we talk about innovation in the public sector? Well, in, in uh, the DOD and the VA health space, um, what we really think about, what I think about is um, helping to improve healthcare delivery uh, for our service members and their beneficiaries and mm -hmm. veterans um, and how emerging technologies can really help, help advance, uh, mm -hmm. advance that. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of emerging technologies, um, um, there's a lot that's modernizing IT uh, for agency enterprises. Uh, but one of the questions is, uh, is these new, more modern technologies mm -hmm. making them more secure, mm -hmm. or are they adding more complexity and making the job of security harder? Well, there's certainly a great deal more complexity um, as we we were just talking about the Internet of Things and mm -hmm. what all that means. And certainly as we plug more applications into existing infrastructures, that does create a great deal of complexity. Um, I, I think, though, that uh, one of the things we do uh, much better today than in the past is really design in. Uh, the security mm -hmm. uh, capabilities. So we're not having to go uh, patch things um, in, in retrospect, that mm -hmm. we're really thinking about how to make um, the infrastructure more secure going in. Mm -hmm. Well, and uh, just lastly, um, as you kind of look at the landscape ahead, what, what can you, we expect agencies um, uh, to see on the horizon over these next few months as they continue to improve and modernize their IT infrastructure? Well, I think um, uh, certainly in the Department of Defense, as you may be aware, the DOD has just started deploying a new electronic health record mm -hmm. um, that will be, they'll be deploying to every uh, DOD medical facility. Mm -hmm. um, VA is uh, revisiting their current strategy yes. with VISTA and making a determination over the next few months as to what their path forward will be. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there's certainly uh, a lot happening there. Um, one thing that's happened over the last few years, uh, the, the departments have developed a capability called the Joint Legacy Viewer, uh, mm. which we call JLV. Um, it essentially pulls data from the databases in the two departments and um, populates it into a viewer that makes it available for clinicians in both departments mm. and um, it, uh, benefits adjudicators in the uh, Veterans Benefits Administration. Um, so they have a, a pretty comprehensive uh, record of data on the patients that, uh, that they're seeing and, and looking at benefits for. So I think that's been a really tremendous advancement for uh, the DOD and the VA. Mm. Sounds like a good way to try to layer on some innovation on legacy systems. Yep. Not, not an easy task. Exactly, in exactly. Well, terrific. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by, sharing some of your insights, and uh, just letting us know a little more about what's going on at DOD. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you for having me. Mm -hmm. Look for more of our coverage at fedscoop.com. I'm Wyatt Cash. Thanks for watching.